another opportunity for us to bring you another number one seed. Exactly. That's yes. the way yeah. we like to, to do it. Bring you as much action as possible. Well, very quickly, what's going to happen is those names that we mentioned early on, they were all stand alone. That, that's to say their first or second fights were not necessarily against top draw opposition. But in the second, the third round or quarterfinal, this is where it gets really tough. So it also gets tough for, for us to choose which map we go to because there's so many good fighters and so many things that we want to look at. I mean, we want to look, look at Hong, so we're going to keep a, an eye on that under 73 kilo yes. uh, uh, ca category. It may not have been the one that we were looking at originally, but he, he seems to have livened things up there a little bit. We might want to jump in there and have a, a look at him. And we're trying to try and keep our sheets up to date so that we know exactly what's coming up so that we can keep you informed. You, of course, at home, you can choose whichever mat it is that you want to watch. You've got the choice of three and on mat number one, we're watching the contest between Sven Marisch of Germany and uh, Shakhtar Sobirov of Uzbekistan. Marisch had just caught uh, Sobirov there and it looks as though maybe yes. on the way over, Sobirov could have turned him and avoided getting caught. We haven't seen the replay yet. The referee's done exactly the right thing here. He's had a look over at the table. He's letting them see the replay once, twice, before he gives out a score. For, for me, this is, the, this is the best way to do it. Yeah. He, he, he hasn't given a score, so that means if there's no score, there's nothing to cancel. But if there is a score, he just puts one on the board wi without there being any mistake. Yes. Because he, he could say it's a Yukon, it's a Wazari. He could say it's, it's not, a, you know, whatever, but he hasn't. He just said, look, Second we know there's an action. Yeah. We're not absolutely yeah. certain what it is. There's the Seonagi. Yeah. And there's the Yuko for the counter. Yes. For the counter. Yes. So at some point during that action from Maresh, the, the drop Seonagi, Sobirov feels that coming and he says, Oi, you know, yes. I'm going to counter this. He does and he brings Maresh over for Yuko. And the, the, the referee could quite easily have said, Yuko for Maresh. They would then have had to have corrected two things. Yes, a lot of confusion it then. And unnecessary confusion. Absolutely. Let's wait for the replay. I'm not going to give anything. I know something's happened here. I'm just going to you know, call the Mate. Yeah. Let's see what it is. You, you guys work it out. There are three of you to work it out with the replay machine and then we come up with the right decision. So now it's time for Sven Maresh to close the gap on the scoreboard. Got some problems with the grip, but anyway... <laughs> Got the second for that. So, <laughs> Maresh points out to the referee that that Sobirov has been screwing yes. up the, the the bottom of the sleeve with a, with, with a pistol grip, and for his for his pains, he gets given a yes. shido for passivity. He tries to go right sided there, with a low right tire tucking. Yeah, Doesn't that looked good. A little bit slowly, yeah. but it's a nice combination. Tire toshi, seonage, backward technique, which he's all also able to throw. Kochi. Detlef Ulsch all only needs to say something here to Marish, and that's time. Look at the clock. Yeah. There's more than two minutes left on the clock. We, n we know that, that Marish is a supremely well conditioned athlete, yeah. and he's down by Yuko. And now there's another penalty on the board against Sobirov. So the difficulty here is that within a, a, a minute and 56 seconds, it's almost two minutes, has he got the, 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 the strength and the wherewithal to fight off Maresh for two minutes? My money, no. Mm -hmm. He's too strong. Maresh is too First well conditioned to Definitely. let this slip yeah. away. Yeah. This yeah. situation, a Yuko down, two minutes on the board and two penalties, in you know, he's not going to do it. Bruno Mendoza in blue for Czech Republic, Jakub Jesminen. Puts in that one yeah. effort. Yeah. You see, if he if he beats him to the attack on two more occasions, it will be another passivity penalty. This is all he's got to do. Just keep up the rate of attacks, and, and we know that this is what he's good at. 
He's yes, got that kind of tempo. Minute 25. Yeah. Keep the feet, keep working the feet as well. Yeah, that's it. Just a little tap. Trying to break the grip up. Be first again, even if it's that Seonagi, he's open there. Yeah. For that left-sided underneath. That's a, that's a good play, yeah. And for the techno. Ah. Mm, he's gonna, he's gonna get away with that. Yeah. Because at least Marish had to move his foot out of the way. Blowing heavily now, still got a minute. But he can't really move him. He moves himself more than yeah. than than uh, uh, Zabelov. Yeah. Just well a little bit. He's strong. Zabelov's proving strong. This is when you have to dig deep here. Forty seconds. Forty second mark is where the mess usually happens. Yeah. No. He must come up with a technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look good. Got to get out of there quickly. Yeah. He doesn't want to be down on the bottom now. Couldn't turn him on his back. Uh, landed on the other side. I think there happens nothing. Yeah, but it's a good stretch. This is the problem. Yes, yes. yes. Hello. He's looking for the arm now. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And, oh he's, and he's had to sad. tap out. Yes. He's had to tap out. Oh, Sven. What was wrong? Well, he, he got behind. And and once you, once you get behind, you lose control of the direction of the contest because you can't do the things that you that you want to. You have to take into consideration the state state of the contest and you, you know react accordingly. And it wasn't it wasn't to be. And I think especially for for Detlef Ulsch, he's he's the uh, the national coach for the whole men team. Yeah, yeah. But this is one of his. In Germany, they should slinger. 